Hello, welcome to the service of morning prayer from St. Luke's Church, Eccles Hill. In order to follow our service today, you will need to have a Bible of your own so that you can read the Bible readings for yourself and ponder on the meaning of the Word of God for you in your own heart. And to give yourself the leisure to do that, there will be various pauses in the video, so you'll need to have the video remote in order that you can pause me and listen to God. Our service begins by asking God into our hearts and onto our lips by his Holy Spirit. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Stephen Craven has a project for singing through the whole of the Sing Praise hymn book during the year, and so for each day he has chosen a hymn. Here's the one chosen for today. Like a mighty river flowing, like a flower in beauty growing, Far beyond all human knowing is the perfect peace of God. Like the hills serene and even, like the coursing clouds of heaven, like the heart that's been forgiven is the perfect peace of God. Like the summer breezes playing, like the tall trees softly swaying, like the lips of silent praying, is the perfect peace of God. Like the morning sun ascended, like the scents of evening blended, like a friendship never ended, is the perfect peace of God. Like the azure ocean swelling, like a jewel all excelling, far beyond all human telling, is the perfect peace of God. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The Church of England has a scheme for reading the Psalms of the Bible through in a seven-week cycle. Here's one of the Psalms set for today in a musical version, because, of course, the Psalms were originally songs and not just poems. has set a firm foundation on his holy mountain. God loves the gates of Zion. More than all the towns surrounding the place of his fountain, glorious the songs of Zion. Babylon and Rahab and every other nation acknowledge the God who is Lord of all creation, the one who invites us to share in his salvation. Shites and Typhoon will envy those who are born in Zion. It's no time to be a Luddite, so join in the frenzy. Come on, be born in Zion. All the world's invited, come put your faith in Jesus. Step out of your doubts and believe the one who frees us. And you will discover the love that never leaves us. You can be born in This certain foundation, his holy name in 
And you might like to pause the video and read and reflect on today's Psalms in your own Bible. For the rest of August, we're going to be reading through the book of Proverbs in the Old Testament. Please pause the video and read the set portion of Proverbs in your own Bible. God's word speaks to our hearts uh, and you might like to give yourself the chance to reflect on the Old Testament reading as you use the canticle uh, set for this day of the week. During August in the New Testament we're reading through the Gospel of St Mark, the first of the Gospels to be written. Please pause the video and read today's passage from St. Mark's Gospel in your own Bible. It is good to give praise to God for his word. Uh, here's a hymn which we can use as a celebration of his presence in our lives. And so let's turn to prayer. Let's ask God to put the meaning of his word into our hearts. Let's lift before him the concerns of the world, our local concerns and also our national ones. And let's put before him the things which are problems in our lives in order that we can find his solution. Please pause the video uh, as you bring your thoughts to God in prayer. The Collect for this week, the 11th week after Trinity. O oh God, you declare your almighty power chiefly in showing mercy and pity. Grant to us such a measure of your grace that we, keeping your commandments, may receive your gracious promises and be partakers of your heavenly blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let's pray using the words of the Lord's Prayer, which Jesus taught to his disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.